What an honor and privilege to be here. What a blessing to share this milestone with you. I asked Landon who had had the devotions at his graduation. He said he don't remember. So you're probably not going to remember me either. So. But I was drawn to Philippians 1, uh, 1 to 11. Uh, just Paul sharing here and to the church of Philippi. and I'm going to read the verse, 11 verses there and just make a few comments on it. Uh, starting verse 1, Philippians 1. Paul and Timothy, bondservants of Jesus Christ, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are in Philippi with the bishops and deacons. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, making a request for you all with joy, for your fellowship with the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Just as it is right for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, inasmuch as both in my chains and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, you all are partakers with me of grace. For God is my witness how greatly I long for you all with the affection of Jesus Christ. And this I pray that your love may abound still more and more in knowledge and all discernment, that you may approve the things that are excellent, that you may be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ, being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. You know, that is your parents' prayer for each of you graduates. In verse 9, I pray that your love may abound to more and more knowledge and all discernment, that you may approve the things that are excellent, that you may be sincere without offense to the day of Christ, being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Jesus Christ, O glory, to the glory and praise of God. You know, I had a look there at verse 6. I guess that's what caught through this to me, but being confident of this very thing that he has begun a good work and you will complete it in the, until the day of Jesus Christ. You know, he who has the power to save you has the power to keep you. And I thought this, he brings out grace here a few times, and I thought this grace, you've been given much grace. We've all been given much grace, but you know, I had to think of there in Acts. I think it's Acts 4 somewhere, 437 maybe. But it says when apostles, the early church apostles were preaching and the church was growing and it said great grace was upon them. And I had to look up the word, the meaning of the word grace in the Greek. But it means divine influence upon the heart and its reflection in life. I've seen that in the graduates. It's going to change your reflection of life, including gratitude, the grace that's a benefit, the favor, a gift of God. You know, as the Jews were given the oracles of God, it talks in Romans 9 and 4 about, they were given the adoption, the glory, the covenants, giving of the law, the service of God, and the promises. Great grace has been upon you. It's been upon each of us. What God has done in our lives, and you know, it seems appropriate to start this with a reading of the Bible passage because I think somewhere in your every day in school, you've been influenced spiritually every day. But we went through a Sunday school passage in Ecclesiastes 12 there where it says, Fear God, keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. You know, if you go through life from here, you've been given a lot of spiritual input in your class. And, but, you know, the world's going to look at you and they're going to think, the unbeliever's going to look at you and say, you're in bondage. They look at that and say, that's not for me. But, you know, the world views freedom and liberty as no law. They would view liberty without law, which causes chaos, as we can see, the liberty against law is rebellion. Liberty limited by law is freedom with the perfect master in Jesus Christ. You know, just a beautiful passage here 
You know, being constant every thing that he has begun a good work and you will complete it. You know, God has a work in your lives and he will continue work in your lives. But one thing you'll find in your life is you need to be intentional. Intentional in studying and, and devotions. With that, let's pause for a word of prayer. Father, we just come to you. Thank you for this graduating class of 2014. May your guiding hand be upon them. God, and direct their ways as you have, as you have promised. For where you have gone beyond a good work, you will finish it. That your love may abound still more and more in knowledge and all discernment. That you may approve the things that are excellent. That you may be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ. And that your fruits of righteousness, that you're filled with the fruits of righteousness. Thank you for the extended family, friends that are here, that have encouraged and spoken in their lives. And bless each one. Father, we just give this time to you for your honor and glory. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen.